Jack. Good, you're here. Well, we're about ready to repressurize the chamber. Jack, please seal the vent doors behind you before attempting to activate the system. Mm -hmm. Pressure seal verified. We can now cycle the flow control from the main console. Warning. Oxygen levels critic. What was that? Nothing. It means we should hurry. Yeah. Flow control open and stable. Exercise caution around vent openings during gas infusion. Oh, thank God for that. Pressure levels rising. Oxygen outflow higher than anticipated. Attempting to compensate. Warning. Pressure unstable. What happened? Unknown. Attempting to compensate. Oh, pressure levels falling. There's a breach. Can you locate it? I'm unable to pinpoint a specific disturbance. Meaning what exactly? Meaning the ship's so riddled with holes he can't find the leak. If you keep ramping up the pressure, you could tear a hole in the hull. Apollo! Shut it down. Unable to maintain atmosphere. Shit. We need to find a sector that we can repressurize. The bridge is the most heavily reinforced section of the vessel. It likely survived the bombardment. How far? The bow of the ship. I'm opening the bulkhead into the main gangway. I have redirected your fury transport to meet us. Okay. Come on. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Return to habitat. Better hurry. Yeah. Ah, oh, we're gonna fly together in the fury? That's so cute. Are you coming? I see you. <laughs> Hold my hand. Oh, really? Okay. You know. Sure. Select your destination. Destination. US and Australia. Punch it. Preparing for Please thruster your ignition. Please hold Just go! Activating thrusters. I'll go with you here. <laughs> Apollo, are you certain the bridge can withstand pressurization? As certain as I can be. The bridge is one of the most structurally sound areas on the entire ship. I would estimate our chances of success are roughly one in three. One in three, <laughs> huh? Well, I'd really hate to have to live on those odds. Unfortunately, Captain Rhodes, you do have to live on those odds. That was sarcasm, Apollo. She was joking. This hardly seems like an appropriate time for living. Never mind. Just <laughs> get us to the bridge. Jack, you... You caught my joke. <laughs> it was a good joke, Liv. Try and stay focused. We're nearly there. Yeah, what's the sound? Apollo, another EM fluctuation. They're increasing in magnitude. Should we be concerned? Not presently. The reactor is still functioning within operational limits. Good. Continue monitoring the situation. Let us know if anything changes. Of course. Approaching command deck. Reducing speed. Whoa, what's that? Escape pods, okay. There we go. You Gucci, you Gucci. Here we are. The large door up ahead will take us to the command deck. Off we go. Come on. Hmm. 
Liv. Uh. Olivia, wake up. What? Yeah. I I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I just... Just give me a minute. You go ahead and lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Hopefully. I see you. Should I leave here? I'm not even sure. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Return to captain. Immediate. Shut up! O2. Down to 1%. We need to get you to the bridge. Alright. Get the door. Liv. Come on, let's go. Liv. Liv, wake up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Just a bit lightheaded. Let's, uh, let's just keep moving. The bridge is just up ahead. I don't see any spores on this deck. No, no visible contamination of any kind. That's, that's got to be a good sign, right? Not necessarily. The biomass primarily spreads through the ventilation system. Until we can inspect the vents, we cannot assume this deck is safe. Apollo, I... I really hope you weren't the one in charge of morale on this ship. <laughs> we will need authorization from a command crew member to open the bridge airlock. We don't have time for protocol, Apollo. I'm sorry, but we cannot access the bridge without voice... Just unlock the damn door, Apollo. Voice authorization accepted. Airlock controls released. Well, that works. Liv. We're close. Liv? Olivia. Yeah. Sorry. I'm good. Just hold on. It won't be long now. Oh, well, <laughs> literally. Captain Rhodes, I suggest you take your place at the command station. And please try to remain conscious. Yeah. Now, Jack, in order to restore atmospheric pressure, I will need to rewrite the bridge logic core. You will find it near the forward console. Core located. The rewrite procedure is identical to the one we performed in life support. Pass, pass, pass. Understood. I'll move the core to the overall slot. Core in place. Proceeding with scan. Rewrite successful. Copy. Returning core. Core locked in. Do you have access? Affirmative. I now have full control of all essential bridge functions. How long will it take to repressurize the cabin? Accessing environmental controls. Stand by. Warning. Oxygen reserves depleted. Apollo. Return to habitat immediately. Jack. My... My O2 tank zeroed out. Try and stay calm, Olivia. There's still air in your suit. It should sustain you for a while longer. Just... Just hurry. Oh God. I can't. Apollo, I can't we need life support now. I'm afraid we have another complication. Fine. What is it? I'm detecting trace amounts of the biocontaminants in the bridge ventilation system. Any attempts to repressurize will flood the bridge with poisonous spores and kill the captain. Tell me what to do. The bridge environmental system consists of four air vents. You'll need to inspect each one. Incinerate any spores you find with your reactive cutter. Got it. Jack. I'm curing. Jack, I can't see. Everything's... Nitrogen levels in her blood huh? is activating an emergency medical capsule. Liv, you have to stay with me. Keep what your eyes open. I, I can't. Fuck is the other ones? I can't. Yes, you can. Focus. Oh god. This isn't 
this isn't happening. Please, Liv. I need you to stay with me. Where is it? Hey. Hold on. Just hold Jack. on, Liv. Oh my god. You know what? You know what? I <laughs> to go to series anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Liv. Liv. She's lost consciousness. The vents are clear. Re-engage life support now. Accessing environmental controls. Restoring atmospheric pressure. Oxygen outflow nominal. Apollo. All integrity is holding steady. It's working. Atmospheric pressure restored. Habitable zone established. Breathable atmosphere detected. Liv? Olivia. Negative respiration. She's still not breathing. Please. Come on! <laughs> Liv, wake up! Ventricular fibrillation. She's going into cardiac arrest. What can I do? There's an emergency defibrillator. There. In the medical locker, by the entrance. Apollo, the medical locker is sealed. You should be able to cut it open. Oh my god! <laughs> I've got it. Quickly, connect the defibrillator to the side of the medical capsule. Han! Defibrillator online. Attach the electrode panels directly to the medical council. Oh my Critical god, panels. so many controls. Posterior electrode in place. <laughs> Anterior electrode secure. Charging. You need to pump the handle to build up a charge. When the power level reads blue, press the hollow button to administer the shock. Clear. No response. Again. Charging. Clear. Negative. Still in V-Fib. Again. Jack. We may be too late. Clear. Jack. She's gone. No. Mm -mm. Again. Charging. Clear. Please, Liv. Don't do this. Clear. Jack. Hey. <laughs> Finally. Jesus Christ. She's alive. Jack. <sighs> Morning, sunshine. <laughs> very... Very funny, Jack. Blood oxygen levels returning to normal. Heart rate 64 BPM. She's stabilizing. How are you feeling? <laughs> like I've just been electrocuted. What? Technically. You frightened me. I thought I'd lost you. So you are going to miss me? <laughs> no. Hello, Captain Rhodes. I am relieved to see you are not dead. Thanks. You, uh... You want to let me out of this thing? <laughs> Due respect, Captain. Protocol requires you remain... I do what she says, Apollo. Thank you. I'd like it noted for the record that I am strongly Sir, opposed noted. to this decision. Now let me out. Oh. Are you sure you're all right? Just a, just a little sore. I'll manage. <laughs> Apollo, what's happening? Excessive damage to the power grid has triggered a rapid destabilization of the main reactor. <laughs> what does that mean? If we don't find a way to stabilize the reactor, the containment field will collapse and destroy the ship. Oh. Options? There are a number of solutions I could attempt, but only one holds a reasonable chance of success. I'm not gonna like this, am I? We could execute a faster than light jump. The amount of energy expended by an FTL jump may be enough to stabilize the reactor. What would happen if we jumped? Where would we go? Unfortunately, I am unable to calculate a destination solution. In truth, we actually have a much bigger problem. Oh good. Because I was waiting for a much bigger problem. The last time this ship performed a faster than light jump, it resulted in radical temporal displacement. Wait, you're... you're saying if we jump, we're going to time travel? I'm not certain, oh. but it is possible. This is insane. 
The energy buildup is accelerating. We don't have much time. Are we really doing this? It's worth the risk. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The FTL drive collapses mid-jump, creating a singularity that instantly tears us to pieces on the molecular level. Apollo. Was I not supposed to answer that? Screw it! If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it going faster than light. But hold my hand. Before we can execute the jump, we will need to redirect all available power to the FTL drive. This requires manually powering down all non-essential systems. I will walk you through the procedure. Or we could just break them. Well, yes. I suppose that would also work. That's... that's rather brilliant, actually. Reactor destabilization. Apollo, how do we access the primary system components? Use the engineering station to open the maintenance panels. All right, I'll expose the components. Jack, get ready to cut through as many of those systems as you can. Got it. There, panels open. Pick a system and start cutting. On it. Primary weapon systems disarmed. I think it's working, Jack. Try another. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Hey! Initiating jump prep. Let's go, let's go! Apollo! Main engines report green. Ready to execute FTL jump. Do it, Jack! Punch it! Well, I guess just punch it. <laughs> FTL engaged. Jumping in three, two, one. All steady! <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Jack. Jack, are you all right? Live. Look outside. Oh my God. Where are we? Stand by. Taking a reading now. Live. It's Saturn. No. Yeah. I'm afraid Jack is correct, Captain. We are currently in geosynchronous orbit over Saturn. Apollo, what is the current date? Astrometric positioning would suggest we have arrived sometime in the mid-26th century. <gasps> we jumped forward 400 years. Approximately. So this is your time? To put it simply, yes. This is my time. What happened here, Apollo? You were looking at the aftermath of a skirmish this ship was involved in prior to our meeting each other. Who are you fighting? Why were... What is that? Contact. Incoming vessel. More trouble? Negative. USN transponders. They're friendly. USN Astraea, this is transport cruiser Juno. Do you copy? Affirmative, Juno. We read you. This is the Astraea. Captain Olivia Rhodes commanding. If Olivia Rhodes is the captain, then who are you? Identify yourself. I am an Echo unit. Serial number E101-324. I'm sorry, Estrella. Did you say you were an Echo unit? You can just call him Jack. An actual functioning Echo unit? Must be quite a story there. Just sit tight. Rescue team's inbound. ETA 10 minutes. <laughs> That's crazy. Understood. Estrella, out. So... We're stuck 400 years in the future. It would seem so, yes. Well, approximately. No way to get home. None. Okay. So tell me, what's the proper protocol for this situation? <laughs> Improvise. 
Improvise. Good answer, Jack. Okay, so that was pretty much it. Now I understand why people were saying that it ended on a cliffhanger. I honestly enjoyed myself very much in this experience. It was decently paced for something that released like four years ago. This still holds up to this day as like probably the most gorgeous things I've seen in VR graphically. It's like it's so realistic. Like you're actually in space just traveling through the asteroids and like being in the echo unit. Like actually experiencing what no one has so far in our generation. I do have to say the big minus of this game is all the crashes and the research I've done is because the RTX graphic cards like we have nowadays were not supported for this game because they didn't exist. So this game was not optimized in a way that it would run smoothly on new hardware. It eats away every memory of the card that there is available. It was between 5 minutes to 20 minutes like literally unplayable to the point that I had to actually provide myself with the safe spots that developers put out on the internet to just pass certain points of the game but besides crashes this game is like excellent feel like this game was way behind its time because when it would release like now still an excellent game i'm a story person myself like to no surprise lone echo was really fun for me because i could like interact with live i could choose dialogues like this is all it is about with vr rpg elements and immersion that you're actually traveling somewhere i'm not sure if we should play lone echo to like the demo version the sequel will release eventually i don't know when no one knows when but i'm looking forward to it because if the first game was that good, then I mean they have their work cut off for themselves. I do wonder if the second game will bring like combat or something. I don't think I would enjoy just traveling again through the biomass and stuff like that. Now we're in the future, so we'll meet actually other people, like other organisms, other technology. Very much futuristic, like the vision of the developers. The recording process and just hold it editing, it's been probably a journey. But at the end of the day, I really like this game. I guess see you in the sequel, whenever that happens.